California, How sunny California. It was really rainy. Oh, sorry. <laughs> it was not always. It was rainy. It looked like the hills of Ireland. There, it oh. was so green and lush. Well, that's nice. Yeah, it was rainy in Toronto too. So just can't get away from rainy. It. Climate change, everyone. Everyone. Hashtag climate yeah. change. Hashtag hype. Hashtag <laughs> climate change. Uh, so welcome. We're thrilled to be back. Thank you. If you're joining us for the first time, welcome to Hype Night. Hello. If you're back, welcome back to Hype Night. Oh, man. So Hype Night uh, is a show where we invite awesome women that we know and that we know of, and we hype them up. We tell them how great they are. Yeah. 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 We get one lady on a week. Yeah. And it's a good time. It's a pretty good time. Yeah. So you can always, like, uh, we have all of our video and everything going here, so by any any time you want, you could just, like, send us a message or anything you like. Yeah, let list. us know, and you can let us know whatever you want. Tell us about our guest, what mm-hmm. you think about our guest, anything. Yeah. Uh, so we'll give you an example of how hype works. So, yes. uh, Dale, mm-hmm. um, you organized, you created this spreadsheet in Google Spreadsheet, this document, document. in Google Docs mm-hmm. that organizes all of the facts that we have about our guests, and it was a dream, because when I went in to put input all the information, it was all organized, oh. and I appreciate that. Well, thank you. You're welcome. Thank You're, you very much. My pleasure. Thank you very much. Um, well, this has been very, very busy over the last, you know, two weeks or so, and we had to get together, we had to have a meeting, mm-hmm. and then I, you know, I, I come to the meeting, and Melissa's rocking, like, the coolest red pants. Thanks. She's rocking these cool pants. Yeah, And thank then you. even as you left, I was like... Those are great pants. Yeah, you really love the pants. I really, really did. I re- and I appreciated that because I was doubting the pants. No. And you really made me feel good no. about them. One day, let's get those pants on here. Okay, yeah. I'll wear the- One day, I'm going to wear the pants. Yes. Okay. Yes. And just put my legs on the table. Yeah, the whole just show. have them just, up. I won't do that now because I'm wearing a skirt. I won't do it because I have weird socks on. There you go. Reasons for things. Um... So, do you want to talk about our, our guest I do. Today? Okay. I do. Our guest today... I mean, it's hard for me. I've known her for a long time. She's pretty much the coolest person I know. Yeah. No she's to jail. The, <laughs> she's, she's very quickly become one of the coolest people I knew. Because go. I didn't know this much about her. And now I'm all like, oh my God, this woman's amazing. Yeah, she's been an actor for, it's on her website it says 10 plus years, but I feel like maybe it's longer than that. She's been doing it since yeah. she was like three, so like she hasn't, but I I don't know, maybe she has. We're going to find out. We're going to find out. Um, she's an actor, director, writer, coach, mentor, teacher, v- host, voiceover artist. No. I mean, really, like we could so spend the whole episode just listening to things she it's does. It's true. So There's just so much. Let's yeah. just bring her Let's on. Let's just bring her on. So, okay. ladies and gentlemen, our guest today is Nicole, Nicole Stam! Yeah. Oh my gosh. Hi. Oh, oh my goodness. I know it's a little bit. I did. I'm doing it. Yes. Yeah. Hi. Hey. Hello. Hi. 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 Thank you for having me here. Thanks oh for being here. It's great. This is our like. Yeah, that's, oh, oh. This is our open source music. Oh. Thank you, copyright free music. It's good. It's pretty good. Yeah. It's a little bit Austin Powers, I find. Yes, it totally is. Yes, yeah, definitely like has that. It reminds me. Um, there's just been a few requests for my socks, so okay, okay, listen, go. they're, they're not. They're not it's not that they're weird. They're it's that they're. Uh, it's that they're Wait, a dress it's... sock, and my sh- and it's like a short summer pant. But they're nice. Yeah, they're clean. I think it's I but thought... it's, they're thin, and it's a dress sock with a summer pant. But sometimes a thick sock gets a little too. You know, like it stretches out and I it's agree. just a little too jersey. So I think you're doing well. I agree. Good I good think people trim. were expecting like a cat sock or like a sock. I was expecting, and I didn't notice your socks before, and I thought, why didn't I notice her weird socks? But no, I can't think of anything else. <laughs> yeah. So. Guys, they're, they're weird. 
I hope you're satisfied with the sock reveal, everybody. Uh, I support <laughs> thank you. you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Um, um, we so uh, I understand that you are I- into bourbon. I, I do like a bourbon on the table. So let's uh, you know. Oh. I want to get. I just want to get our drink started. Oh, that's a nice bottle. For tonight. A nice bottle. What is this? So this is coming to us courtesy of Dale's Vacation and the Duty Free. <laughs> Um, so I saw this bourbon and I was like, I've never had it, and uh, I was at the I was at the duty free. It looks so, amazing. Yeah, this is gonna try to open this, and there's a lot of nerves about it. No, it's, and I talks about herself in the third person. <laughs> I don't know a lot about right. alcohol, but I'm I'm like the kind of person who chooses what to drink based on like the font on the label. Well, look at this. But this graphic design is it's a yeah. it's, it's a Booker's. Hand. The whiskey in this package is the highest grade bourbon made by me here at Jim Beam. Oh, it's Jim Beam. It's a, it's a type of Jim Beam. So there hey. you go. So we're taking a little break this week I from. Think- <laughs> I don't know what happens now. We take a little break from Woodman Spirits. They'll be back with us next week. I did what Matt and Dale gave me instructions on how to open that, and I did everything they said, and it has not worked. Matt, thank you. Hey. Do you want to, and then you can give us the home, the home shopping. Do we pull the out. maybe pull the ribbon from the bottom up? Do we do that? Right. <laughs> you can't see what's happening. It's quite yeah. enjoyable. But listen, all the glassware is here. It's here. all ready <laughs> okay. for us. Okay. And, um, so Matt's going to be back with the bourbon. I yeah. believe he's gone to the kitchen, but what I think is going to happen in there is that he has a sword and he's going to do the like. Yeah. <laughs> if you know Matt Campagna, you know that's probably true. I feel like there's it's a lot of swords in there. Yeah. So many swords. All <laughs> where you can't see, there's swords. Swords everywhere. All swords. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. So. Nicole, there are some rules on yes. midnight. So one rule is that you have to take the hype. You can't qualify it, or you know, okay. like you just have to accept the compliments. Thank you. Yes, okay. you're welcome. Uh, another yeah. one is that if we get something wrong, mm-hmm. you you should correct us, okay. so that we know uh, who should get the hype. Look at this. Uh, or if you want to add some hype to somebody else, by all means, add the hype. Thanks. Okay. Great. Okay. Right. I love that this music's still happening. It kind of sounds like that's. Um, if that's yours, go for it. I'm gonna go for like okay, a half of that. that. Is that good? That's great. Okay, for Nicole me. gets the largest. Oh, do I get the? Do you yeah. want the big loose, Yeah, loosen yeah. me up. Who knows what'll happen? Yes. Here, Matt. This is for you. For thank you for opening the bottle. <laughs> it smells nice. That's our uh, Matt Campania. Oh, uh, it's got a. It's like 63 proof. Yeah, it's oh, a really. Lot. So we're on our way. Okay. Well, okay. Here we go. Thumbs up. Cheers. 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 Welcome to bourbon on the day. Bourbon. Oh, it's so nice. That's a, it really hits you. Yeah. That's, like, a, that's a proper drink. It's delicious. You know what? It's really, really delicious. It's yeah. like maple syrupy, but. Yeah. And we can set fire to the room now right. with our good. Just real Maybe quick. Maybe that's how we'll end the show. <laughs> Wet on my dragons. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I want to talk about your love of Game of Thrones. Oh, we'll get to that. Okay. Yeah, right. So listen, usually we start with um, what the best part of your day was. Yeah. What was the best part? Oh my gosh. Um, your day. Uh, okay, the the best, I don't even have a good answer for this. I thought about it, and mm-hmm. my day was really relaxed. I gave my plants a shower. That's nice. I know that makes me sound like a really boring person. No. I probably am, but I put all my plants in the shower, <laughs> and I, I showered them, and then you wait. Oh, that's proper work. It's good for them. Yeah. They, 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 they flush out the pots, and, stuff, and then they looked all crisp and happy after, and oh. so that's what, my place was like a little growing bathroom jungle today. That's so That's nice. That's really great. Thanks. I've never done that. I've I, never done that, and I can't keep plants. I, maybe, maybe this is why. why I can't keep plants alive. Yeah. Give them a shower once a month. They like it. Oh, I've never right. done it. Um, I will do that. They want to be rained on, right? Yeah, with my sad plant that I have at home. Yeah. My, I think maybe my favorite part of the day is I got to have uh, I got to have a lunch with friends. Oh, that's And nice. it was nice. We went to a Korean restaurant. Um, where you get to like press the little button. It goes ding. It goes. I'm ready to serve. I'm ready to order. Oh. And stuff, and I it was a great lunch, and I was with great friends. Amazing, mm-hmm. nice. So that was nice. That's good. Mm-hmm. Uh, I had a, I've, as Dale said, I've had a very busy few weeks. Yeah. So I've been really exhausted, and today I actually got to have a nap followed by a bath. Oh, dude. Just sort of like the double whammy of greatness, and uh, yeah. it was really nice. That's great. It's like an afternoon nap, and I really love an afternoon nap when the sun is coming through the, like, it was counterintuitive, yeah. but I enjoy it. Mm-hmm. It gives me the wigs. Does it? Yeah, I get all, like, Ugh. The sun or the bath? No, the if I take nap? a nap when the sun is going down, it's it gives me, like, a funny feeling. 
There in my body. Like, are you a werewolf? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Yes. 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 Guys, maybe I think I just think of myself as a werewolf. Yeah. yeah. I think that's what happened. Yeah. The things okay. we learn on Hype well, Night. Listen, glad I helped. We're more than just a like hype show. We're also an educational show. Diagnostic, yeah. if that's, you will. That's right. <laughs> yeah. 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 Um. So listen, there's so there's so many there's so there's so many things about you. There's so many things about I you. I didn't know all this. You're like so amazing. I don't know what you found. Well, uh, well, listen, people are already like, oh my god, Who's I saw there? you on Handmaid's Tale, and you were amazing. Yeah. Thanks, Ashley. Hi. She's on Handmaid, which I haven't brought myself to watch oh. yet. I know, I'm trying I feel, to rev myself oh, up because I feel like it's just going to destroy me. Yeah, it's exquisite. I cannot handle how good it is. It is so perfectly executed in every possible way. The performances are amazing. Uh, Elizabeth Moss is just like, you cannot take your eyes off her, and it's beautifully shot, mm. and it's adapted so well. It's just, it's nutty good. It's so and was good. it, and when, yeah, it was how was it on set? What was it like on set? Oh my gosh, it was so relaxed, and quick, and efficient, and yes. the vibe was very, like, bright and open. We shot it in the, this, the scene I'm in is, um, we shot it in the Design Exchange, which is like a beautiful oh, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, workplace venue. kind of venue. It's mm. supposed to be like a book publishing house. And it was really calm and relaxed. And then I went in and did a little bit of ADR, and they were playing the scene for me. And they were just like, "Oh, uh, the tone's not quite right. It's not quite right." And I was like, "I'm matching the lip flap. I don't know what to do." And they're like, "The ADR is like when you voice over like a line that maybe they didn't hear for whatever, because like a streetcar went by or something. So mm -hmm. you have to like redo it in a little studio, and you just watch the scene." And you know, sometimes when you're watching a bad show, and all of a sudden the sound goes, "And everybody's talking like this for a <laughs> yeah. second, and then it kind of goes back." That's usually, usually when, bad ADR. Bad ADR. <laughs> when they're outside, especially when yeah. there's a whole scene outside and everyone. Yeah. seems like a robot yeah yeah so i had to adr this 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 scene that was outside and i was like i think i'm doing what i did on the day like i don't know why it doesn't work and then they were like they were like show her the scene before which is the scene where all the women sort of spoil um get fired from mm -hmm. the workplace mm -hmm. and when i was there on the day it was like oh nice bright like great and then when you watch the movie the the film grammar is like super creepy and it feels like a horror oh, movie yeah. sort of and the music is really atmospheric and yeah. the way the shots are following like it, it feels so ominous and eerie mm -hmm. in a way that when i was there the vibe wasn't like that and yeah. the things that the camera is doing like you're not looking at the camera so i didn't really see how it was tracking mm -hmm. the, the performances and so once I saw that, I was like, oh, we go outside and then everything's like, the world has just fallen apart. Yeah, That's the vibe you need. Oh right. I was kind of playing it like, what's going on? And they were, I was like, oh no, what's going on? So then I, I like did a take of that and they were like, nailed it, see you later. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh my God, yeah, man. The tone shifted so drastically. And I thought it was a real credit to um, the director of the episode I was in. Her name is Reed Moreno. She's a cinematographer. Um, she started off as a cinematographer and now she's directing. Oh, and she was just cool. her, the, the camera work is, like unbelievably good and hype. Hype. hype read Marina. major hype oh my gosh and she was so relaxed and, and approachable and it was the vibe was lovely elizabeth moss was uh delightful and i was almost peeing because because i liked Mad Men so much mm -hmm. um yeah and i was trying so hard to just be like very professional but really i was like i'm standing beside becky olsen yeah uh, she must yeah. be used to that yeah i think she I probably think, is she's like, nice she took a selfie with me i saw that on your yeah. instagram yeah yeah that's so, awesome that was cool that was cool, cool. Well, I look forward to seeing it. Well, I look forward to seeing it, and also I'm like, is you, it all released now, right now, or is it just no, like, no, oh, they so released it. Oh, yeah. Maybe I should wait, or maybe I shouldn't. Oh, I don't know. I think no, you should watch thing. it. I think yeah, you should I should just watch it. get started. I think everyone should watch it. We're finishing Man in the High Castle, which is like also about. Uh, it's about basically if Germany won the war. Oh. Um, and so that's a really hard one. So I'm yeah. we're gonna go from that show we're to just watching, we're just watching about dystopia. Yeah, I'm yeah. watching Sense Eight right now, the second season mm -hmm. of Sense Eight. I hear it's good. It is. There's a lot of montages. If you're into montages, <laughs> <laughs> woo! There's like three a show. <laughs> like a, what is it? Like training or makeup? Um, do you know like, anything about the no, show? No, 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 training. It's a, it's about the this group. Uh, Punching best, montage. Yeah, yeah. The I guess the best way to just these people that are connected in this way. Okay. So you know, so they do a lot of montages, kind of showing that they're connected in this way in different ways. Okay. So it'll be like now we're all walking and kind of like touching sand and experiencing sun and stuff and you're like oh okay you're trying to like you're trying to have us have the sense like the feeling um of what all these connected people are kind of feeling mm. but you know i mean you're just like oh here we go it's another montage <laughs> of kind of the facts and then like a lens flare and then i'm right. not like listen watch this watch it but it's good it, it's it's good if you like um kind of uh, matrixy kind of yes. stuff okay. so wakowski yeah. time right yeah mm -hmm. so it's, yeah and you're kind of there, it's thick. 
Yeah. You have to pay attention. Yeah. 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 Thick. I wouldn't I say it's heavy. It's thick. I like it. Thick. Thick. It's a thick show. Thick. I'm one of those thick shows. Yeah. Um, so what the other thing you're working on most recently was so you're on Carmilla, Carmilla. huge web series, so like huge. 45 yeah. million hits, is something it? Or like views that. or yeah, something? It's a lot. Amazing. So huge. Um, and you guys are it's, they're shooting a movie, right? Yeah. So uh, it Carmilla went for three full seasons and a prequel season, and there was a podcast season, and now there's a movie, which is like super exciting. Um, it's being, like, it's the same team of people for the most part. There's a new writer on board. The script mm. is really, really good. Um, and it's exciting. Like, I just got the script the other day, and I think our table read for it is, like, next week. And uh, Awesome. Yeah, I'm excited. I don't know, like, I don't know what to expect. It's going to be great. I feel really out of the loop on that one because I haven't watched it. Carmilla, it's great. And it's, like, it's um, it's cool because it, it really, um, it it was something that the the genre of it and the sort of demographic it was like a demographic of people waiting for content mm-hmm. I found like it, yeah. it was like it really reached a cool demographic that was waiting mm-hmm. to have a story told about them and so it's so cool that it got as big as it did and that they've managed now to move to making it into a film that's yeah. very exciting hype to everybody involved in yeah. Carmilla oh Carmilla Shaftesbury and everybody it's oh Shaftesbury yeah. it's yeah. a Shaftesbury smoke it's bomb a smoke bomb the series yeah. and it's great like it, uh, for, it's a pretty like queer focused web series mm-hmm. so a lot of the characters are queer and it's never in some series like if a character is queer it's presented as like oh no you know you've got to come out and then you're gonna but this get is a, the whole like queer experience and that's all we're gonna focus on yeah and, yeah. and like oh it's such a problem and then you're gonna yeah. be miserable and then you're gonna get dumped and someone's gonna get shot and it's just kind of like uh, queer characters don't get to just like be happy like can you just live yeah, uh, yeah. and then Carmilla it's like just not an issue like there's it's not it's not really discussed nobody has to come out there's a character right. who's non-binary too um, and it's just kind of like ev- all the characters in the world just kind of roll with it and it's really not an issue and no one's sexuality is really like under scrutiny which I think is really refreshing and great that's, that's a special thing yeah, yeah. It's special. I like it a lot alright yeah. so there it is oh, oh my gosh, gosh. There there go. huge list of stuff I gotta watch yeah. I gotta watch this all the bunch that's of the stuff thing. Um, I keep looking over here, but what that's just it? because it's oh. amazing branded content, original content. It is, yeah. yeah. They, they have sort of a revolutionary branding thing with that show. Is that right? Yeah, because they found a really creative way to brand it, and it created a whole new way of branding. So, like, it's a show with college-aged uh, young people, mm-hmm. uh, many of whom are women, and one of them is a vampire... Who, oh, I know this show. Do you? I haven't watched it yeah. though, but I know this show. Yeah. Well, guess who the sponsor would be for a show with all of these like young people and a vampire who doesn't really bite people very often. She drinks um, blood out of like a Starbucks cup. Is it, is it tampons? Yes. <laughs> is it? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah you win. Ding, 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 ding. Yeah, it's Kotex Monday, yeah. which is amazing. Uh, like, it's the funniest. Is it actually Kotex or yeah. is it just Kotex? Yeah. So we drink to Kotex. Kotex. <laughs> no way to go. Kotex is not a sponsor of the show, but if Kotex wants to be a sponsor of the show, get at us. Get at us right there. <laughs> <laughs> I can like just t- do the absorption. Yeah, exactly. Remember those commercials where it was like the, with the blue liquid <laughs> and the tampon? Yeah. So we can yeah. just do Remember, that. Remember, they still do it. They still do that. They still things. have blue liquid. It's, it's always still blue a thing. Liquid. Everyone's just so afraid of ladies. Yeah, no. they really are. They're, we bleed. They don't get no. it. It's a lot. No. It's a lot. I understand. Yeah. But listen, do you have any other um, menstrual work here? That you're doing? <laughs> Can we find any other? What other menstrual work? I'm Let done. I'm see. tapped out. Great <laughs> <laughs> being here. I do want to say. I want to say something that I was really impressed with. I've known Nicole for a while now, but I did, and I knew you had a soul. I'd seen you perform in like. For colored girls um, who've considered suicide when the rainbow is enough. Is that the yeah. title? Oh my god, yeah. I'm so impressed thing. that I yes, actually remembered the whole title. Um, and I thought you were incredible, and then I saw your solo show, Better Parts. Like, I've seen so many. I had seen you before I actually really knew you. I had seen you as well before I actually really knew you. Well, so there you go. And I saw you before I really knew there you. you. Go. So. But although, I will say, you were ahead of me in the touring company in Second City. Oh, that's right. So yeah. it was weird, because it was like, I was like, oh, right, Nicole, she was right there before I before I started right, the right. company. Second City. And then I saw you in Night of the Living Dead. That's right. right. And loved you so much. Yeah. yeah. Every time you came on stage, it was such a good cast, and every time you came on stage, among such a great cast, I was like, yay, she's yeah. back. Yeah. I like her. That yeah. was a really special, that was a really special role. Rules. They yeah. were very good. Yeah. Yeah. I loved really how I, we were there on the day of the talk back, and nobody, and none of the students in the audience knew you played both of those yeah. roles. Yeah. Yeah. You it bothered me. Like, yeah, <laughs> that's fair. It bothered me. It bothered me. I would come out and I would. Uh, this is this is not about me, but I I would come out and I would do my curtain call, and then people would be like, "Well, you know, 
Where's the other Where's girl? Where's the other girl? And I'm like, oh my god, it was me. I've been playing all day. I've been ch- 17 second costume changes. You felt underappreciated. That is underappreciated. But also, yeah. it's like, but also it's, 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 it's a very testament to, to your, your yeah. yeah. And it's a huge compliment to the design of it, too. Yeah. Like, like, yeah. I had wig changes and everything. Yeah, like, yeah. I truly. Hype. Hype, hype that show. Yeah. Hype I like that show. how in all the pictures of the cast, like sort of when you were hanging out, like post show each night, all of you have like. So the show is done in black and white, so the set is all gray, mm-hmm. and the actors are wearing all gray face paint and white or black wigs. And uh, in every picture, it's like after the show and you've cleaned up, but all of your necks are like this <laughs> pallid gray color because you yeah. haven't gotten all the makeup. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, just like our hands are pink, but then all of this we yeah. just white. Okay. Yeah, Amazing. yeah. It was my favorite to bring a regular person up and then take a picture with them. Oh yeah, because we would all be in black and white and they would be in color. That's cool. It was amazing. That's very it was such cool. a, a striking oh, choice. Yeah. But it wasn't even the coolest thing about that show. That show was great. I loved it. I, I'm very, I'm a huge fan of it. It's yes. got a special place in my heart. And now it's repped by Samuel French. So if That's anybody right. wants to go and have it, they can have it. Make there. it happen. Mm-hmm. Nice. Yeah. Yes. And then you, I'd seen do so much funny, like, clown type solo clown stuff. Yeah. And then I met you at a party and I was like, oh, that's that. I know her. She's cool. I was like a bit shy when I met I you. was the same way about you. I, I had you were great. Likewise. I, I still like, think you're great. I, it wasn't just then, but like. Back then, I got great. Now. <laughs> now, it's now like, I don't know. But no, yeah. I felt the same way. And then we, so we really connected when we both were hosting for TIFF. So mm-hmm. Nicole is an incredible host. Stop it. Incredible. incredible. No, you have Thank to take you. it. <laughs> incredible. You must take the hype. You must Enjoy. take it. I was like captivated today because I hadn't seen you do hosting. Uh, like I, I had seen you do like Q and A's and things like that, but I had never like seen you on a red carpet, on a red carpet yeah. with like you know a lot of people would like freeze up in situations like that. You're a pro, of course. That's not what happened. If you get an opportunity, go to Nicole's website and take a look at some of the videos of you hosting with people. You're so charming, and you have the yes. great things to say, and you're so lovely to watch. Oh, thank you. And I just I was at McDonald's using their Wi-Fi, and uh, and I was just like, I was watching like video after video after video. Oh, that's, thank yeah. you so much. I, that's such a kind thing to say. I really went down the rabbit hole of watching you host. Oh, yeah. You're amazing. Thank you. Oh, wow. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah you so always, nice. you have such clever things to say. I know. And you ask great questions. Great questions. Because you are, this is what I will say about Nicole, because you are genuinely curious about people. I've never met a person who is as curious as you, genuinely curious to know about someone yeah. and what makes them tick and what makes them interesting. Thank you. And, yeah. you can tell even yeah. when people like hear the questions, they're either they laugh and have a good time, they've heard something interesting, or they're literally like, wow, you've done your homework. Yeah. <laughs> and that's like such a compliment. Thank you. Yeah, because a lot of people go in there and just be like, I'm going to say the same thing that everyone says to everything, but that was, that. go and watch it. Go oh, and watch please. it. Thank you so much. Yeah, that's and so, if you so have nice. a, a gig that needs hosting, yeah. Whether it's a like red carpet or like a Q and A or anything, seriously hire Nicole Stamp. Oh, but yeah. Well, I can't. Thank you. Thank you. You, you are welcome. Something's happening weird on mine, so I'm just checking okay. that it's oh. not happening over here. Okay. It's not. It's weird here, but I don't think I'm gonna. Is it okay? Are we okay? Yep. It's just my phone. No hype for the phone. No hype for the phone right now. Um, I'll just hide what kind of phone it is. <laughs> <laughs> um. So. You also, I just don't even know. It's so much that I, I want to make sure we cover all the things. So you work in the I, you, wait a second. So you're a multi-camera director yes. for a yes. live broadcast Directing. and webcast show. So, so you're doing like the over here, over there, over here, over there mm-hmm. bit. Yeah. Live. Yeah. What, I, what, type of, what type of shows was it? Uh, well, I used to be on a kid's show. Uh, on TV Ontario. Reach right. for the Top? Uh, TVO Kids. Yeah, Reach for the Top too, but also this one called TVO Kids was the one I was me- meaning at that moment. Okay. I also did that one. Oh, yeah. Um, so she's done so much, but it's hard. It's hard. It's hard. <laughs> Even she has trouble keeping track. Yeah, track. Um, <laughs> so with TVO Kids, uh, it's, it was a live show. So we were live on TV from like three to seven, and we do these little two minute breaks to like uh, sort of um, transition from show to show. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Interstitials? Yeah, interstitials. Mm-hmm. Thank you. And it was live, so you wear an earpiece for live so you can hear the director. Or you can have a floor director that waves their hands at you and gives you like seven four signals of how much time you have. Right. But I, I don't, I never had that. I had an earpiece. So uh, in most control rooms, there's like a button that turns the earpiece on so that you can talk to the talent and then they turn it off so that the talent can't hear what's happening in the control room. Yeah. In the old TVO Kids control room, for some reason, that button was like in the wrong place. So nobody could reach it conveniently mm-hmm. while the live show was happening. You can't like get up to flip it to be like, hey, Nicole, go a little long and then come back to your... T-. So they just put some like tape on it and like taped it open. 
So, <laughs> so I, I had this, hear yeah, so I had this earpiece, and in my ear, I'd be like, oh, I'd hear, like, okay, we're coming to floor, we're going to 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, ready, 1, ready, 2, uh, and then, you know, roll server, roll record, go to call. And then in my ear, I'd be like, hey, TV Kids Kids, here's what we're doing, and they'd be like, ready, camera 1, switch to camera 1, and put in the sound effect, and take out the music. Wow, that takes a just, remarkable amount of focus to, yeah. like, hear all that and keep... Here's my question. Like, Did you would... know it could be a d- another way when that no, was happening, right? I have no idea. So you're like, right. so you're just, just accepting. How life is. Yeah. You're like, this is how it is. There's five people amazing. in my ear talking and sometimes laughing at things I can't see or things, if I did something that like was, if I, like, I don't know, had to do something and it went weird, like they'd, they'd laugh at me. Like my right. friends, would, my friends would not be mean, but they'd like laugh in the control yeah. room. Yeah. And like, and sometimes like a producer would be there or there'd be like guests doing a tour of the studios. So there'd be like kids in there. And then also I'm talking to my co-host and then also like there's a camera there that conceivably has a child at home watching it right so it was just like you're kind of yelling over what's happening in your ear right because it's not all for you but yeah. also keeping an ear open in case something oh is for you that's amazing it was that's, nuts it was, that would drive me crazy that's it, amazing yeah to do that. it was like learning how to run with a weighted parka on yeah <laughs> yeah. yeah but then after i've been doing hosting there for a couple of years i was like oh i think i know whatever like i'm hearing the whole you director's spiel yeah, yeah. in my ear and i was like i know what all those things mean now so I went and apprenticed to direct with the um, the current affairs show at TVO, mm-hmm. and I sat with the director there, who's this awesome director named Michael Smith, and he was great and kind of showed me the ropes. And then once I had like directed a couple of little tiny segment things down there as an apprentice, I went back up to TVO Kids and I was like, "Can I direct our show now?" And so they they let me. So it was great because oh, I would be I would just sort of say the song that had played in my ear every day for two years. Yeah. And so the rhythm of like how I directed was very much like the people who had been directing me. Wow. So they were like tra- inadvertently training yeah, they to do that job. They had no idea. That's like <laughs> such a weird inadvertent gift. Yeah, yeah, yeah it was just, great. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it was a good job because it was almost like being in film school because the production was so, it all happened so fast because it was live. Mm-hmm. So it wasn't like, oh, you know, this department's doing this thing in a whole nother you know, studio or something. Like, it was all kind of happening right in front of us on this daily schedule. Mm -hmm. So I got kind of very comfortable with the different aspects of production. So when I started directing, it was, like, an easy transition. And then also, like, kids' shows, it sounds like, oh, it's for kids, it must be simple. But kids' stuff can be very chaotic because, yeah, you know, if you're doing a new show, you're doing things quickly, but you're not also adding in, like, sound effects and, like... A, there's not going to be like a sheep on your show that day, and there's not like lightning and thunder crashing and the lights flicker. So like I there, wish was, there was, I wish, yeah, I yeah. And then you said every once in a while there was just a sheep. A, a sheep, like, sheep are integrated. A... Like one Whoa, guys, big statement. Okay. So we had a sheep live on the show when I was hosting. <laughs> it pooped on my foot on live TV. Yeah. And the camera couldn't see it because it was like, it's feet, my feet were below the camera, mm-hmm. so it, my feet got like peed and pooped on. And I knew the viewer couldn't see it. And also, like, we don't talk about pee and poop in that context. So I just had to, like, not say anything about it. Yeah. And, like, wash my shoes after. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, well, there's no occupational hazards. then you can hazards. shave it and make a sweater. I'm allergic to wool. Are you really? Yeah, I get a cheap. So sheep, Nicole is right. not into sheep. I mean, you I like them hypothetically. It. As a concept, they're fine. How do yeah. you feel about, like, eating sheep? I do. Yeah, I'll eat lamb. I'll eat the lamb. <laughs> so just I'll eat the lamb. I'll eat that lamb. I'll eat that lamb. Right I'll wear that sweater, but I'll eat that yeah, lamb. Eat right. it up good. Is that uh, fair? And TVO Kids, so just as some awards that Nicole's. So TVO Kids won two Gemini Awards among six nominations for shows which you were like key creative on. Yes. Key player. You also won a Toronto Arts Award for Excellence and Innovation in Theater. Yes. And this one is kind of my favorite. You are a Guinness World Record holder for playing dodgeball for 36 hours without sleeping. And if you Google it, there's like amazing pictures of you playing. Oh dodgeball. man, my friend Michelle Yee, who's a beautiful photographer, came and she documented the game. She came at the beginning of the game, mm-hmm. a couple times in the middle of the 36 hours, which is a really long time. And then she came at the end and took this amazing photo essay of us. Thanks, Michelle. They're so good. Hi, 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 hi Michelle Yee. Did so? Did you play continu- You didn't play continuously though, did you? No, there were 20 of us, and there were I think 14 of us on at a time. Mm-hmm. So I got some breaks. However, I will say. Uh, there were like less women on the team and you had to have a certain number of women playing all the time to get yep. the record because it was a co-ed team. Right, right. And I had, so I had two female teammates and one uh, got terrible blisters and we had to take a break and yep. one fell and hit her head and took a break. So I ended up playing, and one threw up and took a break. So I ended up playing through you know. their shifts. So I kind of didn't really get a good break. Right. Uh, that was a really tiring experience. I lost, it was 36 hours, I lost nine pounds. Okay, so oh if you want to drop nine pounds, <laughs> oh man, yeah, you got nobody like two days to do it. No one should do this. diet ever. I would never do. Because you're like, Just we also for it. to get Dodge the record, they like they watch you and you can't leave the court. 
So you oh. could take breaks as a full team. So we, we brought in oh. porta potties to this venue because we only had two toilets and there were 20 of us and you get five minute breaks. Oh my God. So we brought in some porta potties and when we would take a break, the whole team would break for five minutes and that was your only bathroom break. And right. if you took a bat, like you earned, I forget, it was like you earned two minutes of break for every hour you played. So every two and a half hours, we would take a five minute break. Oh. Oh, well, you were able to eat though, right? You could eat while you were on the court. But okay. You eat the <laughs> but it's, I guess it's dodgeball yeah. too. Like, there's times where you could be like, uh. A little bit, yeah. But, like, so everyone was so afraid that they'd be the one who went to pee and would wreck the record. Yeah. Like, right. Like, would take up too many breaks and then we wouldn't yeah. be able to get the record. That yeah. I didn't drink any water and I barely ate anything. Guys, this, that's weird. And it was so awful. Them. And so after, like, I came out <laughs> well, of that. I mean, you got the award. You got, you got the award. It's right there. World record. We came out of that and I ordered the biggest. Um, Chinese food, like Canadian Chinese food, sorry, sorry, ancestors, uh, delivery, and it was like so greasy, gross, like mm-hmm. chicken ball times, and I like, ah, da, 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 and then I fell asleep for like 10 hours, and then I woke up and I had horrendous food poisoning. Oh, oh, great. As you do, great. and I was viciously sick. Maybe for, like, you just had like system poisoning. Just everything was system a mess. Shut and down. it was honestly, for like two weeks after, I felt like Mr. Burns. Like I was just, I lost all this weight, and I was skinny and so angry, and I was, it was so awful. Yeah. I felt so weak and just drained. Oh my god, hype. Oh, hype. 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 That was hype. honestly like one of the dumbest things I've ever done. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Really I love fun. how much you like your commitment to dodgeball. Oh, man. Dodgeball scares me. I'm a little kid who's like, don't hit me with the ball. Yeah. yeah. Like, it's not, I'm not scared. I'm just, not I'm scared, not great scared, with but like, sports. Yeah. Because I don't like letting people down. Right. Come so on. I'm gonna the, I, you would not. Listen. Would. Listen, I so I'm the first one. <laughs> I'm the first one who gets up a big target. I'm an awkward what are target. You talking about? I'm running I'm all arms and legs. <laughs> it's a mess. I get and then I'm out. I would pick you first my, on my team. Oh, I would pick you too, Dale. Thank you. Would, my I problem would, is I'm I've got, highly, I've got a mouth. I am yeah, highly, that's cool. highly competitive. Like See, it, we're not a good match. It's that a way. scary time. And I, that's why I don't play a lot of like it's hard for me to play games. I love games nights, but I get very vulnerable because I'll go play games oh nights with people. <laughs> And I, and I, like, once I played Catan at my friend Diana Benley's house, and with her and Ted, and we hyped them, hi, 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 extra, hey guys. And I, what, was the first time I ever played Catan, and I won both games, and, like, stunning victories, and I felt so bad about it, because I was like, oh my god, I feel bad, like, I came here, and I was like, I, I don't know how to play this game, I don't know how I'm gonna be, and then it looked like I was, like, trying to hustle people, but I wasn't, and then I, but then I was very competitive, and I wanted to win, but I have so much shame about how much I want to win. It's a bit of I'll a time. I'll play Catan with you. you like, but listen, you. guess what? Take. Okay, let's Chris, play Catan. Christina Winter also hates uh, Dutchball. Christina Winter! Yeah. Childhood best friend. So oh, hi. She also hey, hates to it, Christina so Winter. I just hate it because I'm going to let something know. That's all. I don't know that Dale, you would. I don't know that listen. you would. You, like, you're not a person that I would ever say would let anybody down. I agree. Like a pretty steadfast person. Yeah. I don't know what this face. <laughs> Am I letting you down? Letting me down right you're now. You're lifting me up with that face. I want to do, I think we should do, I want to do a, a rapid fire. Yeah, let's do it. round of all, of all the your credits on IMDb. Oh this my God. has been my dream for a while to do this. Because uh, it's, okay, ready? So yeah, I'm already a bit embarrassed. I'm just going to say that. Okay. So, things on Nicole's IMDb. Here we go. Daytime Toronto. Reach for the top. Hunter's Moon. Becoming Burlesque. Katie Chats with Katie Ullman. Pipes to her and Pipes her to web her. series. First round down, Renaissance, divorce photographer, the bad mother, Mars is laughing at us, no strings attached. A bunch of video games like Watch Dogs 2, Far Cry Primal, Man of Steel song, The Unusual Suspects, Toilet, A Winter <laughs> Tale, <laughs> Plastic Love. I'm on the same list as you, I think, right now. Are you? Yeah. Well, maybe not. The Handmaid's Tale, we discussed, Save Me, Fang Bone. Yeah. American Gothic. Dan Vermeer. Living in your car. Degrassi. The Next Generation. Tactical Girls, which is a soft spot in my heart for Tactical Girls. Yeah. Yeah. On James Show. Private Eyes. Mm -hmm. Androids. Odd Squad. Oh, Odd Squad. Yes. Odd Squad. squad. Um, Tumble Town Tales. (laughs) Raspberry Jazzberry Jam. Orphan Black. Good Witch. Total Drama presents The Redonkulous Race, Remedy, The Next Step, Pirates, Doozers! I'm at the end of my list. Yeah, but there's also like multiple episodes here. Yeah, so really the most. 
like the, the most, most ever. Most. Hardest working gal I know in show business. I'm not caught up on my Orphan Black, so I don't think oh, I've seen you yet. Yeah. Orphan Black is so Are you nice. later? Yeah, I'm, I'm later. It's not it's not a big part, but like I was so excited to be on that show. Yeah, I love, I'm such a fan of that show. Yeah. It's a great show. So and I hear it's a lovely set to be on too. It's great. Yeah. It's great. And uh, the scene I had was with uh, Tat playing my favorite clone, mm -hmm. uh, which is Crystal Goddard, the nail technician. Oh, yeah. And she improvised like everything that happened in that scene. It was amazing and hilarious. Oh, and it was, like, Hi for Tatiana yeah. Mazzoni. It was, oh, yeah. it was really I'm, hard for I'm me because whole, yeah, I'm the whole show. my character doesn't like her. Like, my character's like, get out of here. Uh, but I like her so much, and she's so funny, and she's so kind and lovely. So we were, like, chatting, and I was just like, oh, I'm so excited to see you. I'm so happy. For, like, this is going, everything going so well for you. And then they'd be like, and she she's, like, a real actor, so they could be like, roll camera, and she's like, no, I'm in the moment. But when, with me, when you're like, roll camera, I'm like, what? <laughs> like, <laughs> I need, like, a minute to, like, reset. Because I can't, I can't be mean to, I'm not good at the lying part of acting. Right. If I like you, like I like you, you can right. see it. If I don't like you, you can kind of see it too. So I like her. So I I had to be like act like I don't like her, and it was that was hard for me. Mm. Um, that was one of my. I I will say that was one of my biggest acting challenges was to act like I didn't like Tatiana Maslany, who's right in front of me, being the most charming, funny person. Right. I can see how that would be hard. Yeah. yeah. She exactly. seems like I've never met her, but she seems like like just an amazing. She's great. She's yeah. super grounded, super yeah. funny, super yeah. smart, awesome. Totally. Uh, can we talk for a second about how when you just okay. read that list of projects mm -hmm. that I worked on. Like, mm -hmm. like eight of them are your projects? <laughs> yes, that's very true. Because you are, like, essentially my my number one... I feel like you and your lovely partner, Matt, hey, Matt, uh, mm -hmm. have, like, really, like, made my career very good in the last couple of years. Oh. I'm really grateful. So thank you for oh creating God. work for people. And it's good work, and it's funny work, and or dramatic work, and I love it. I Yay. love working with you. Oh, my God, it's thank so you. Good. Oh, well, yes. we love, obviously, so we love working wonderful. with you because we... <laughs> keep asking you to be in things. I feel so I feel so lucky that uh, that I, I have friends who write good stuff and uh, who, who work with me and it's so fun and I feel like it's so good to work with the same people again and again too because you get to know them and you you know it's you, lovely you there's know, a reason why people do it yeah you know there's a reason why yeah. but it's 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 a testament to just being like create your work and do your thing and get people that are passionate involved and then you just see that passion kind of grow yeah. into these fantastic projects one after another yeah. yeah, and we're gonna Melissa yeah. and I are gonna co-host the um, the TO Web the Fest Awards. Web Fest Awards. That's right. Soon. And it was great because we had a call about it, and we were like, "Oh, maybe we should like create some funny little videos about it." And I was like, "Oh, I'm gonna be really busy that week, and so are you." But I was like, "Oh, we'll be able to do that, no problem," because we, yeah. it's just easy to work together. So there was no, I know, I didn't even like think about it. I was like, "Yeah, we'll do that." We'll later. figure it out. Yeah, yeah, I never have any doubt that we'll figure it out. It's so it's so nice to just be like, huh. I agreed. Yeah. I also want to say this about Nicole. Uh, Nicole has incredible style. You're like one of my style gurus. Mm -hmm. And Nicole understands how to accessorize like no person I've ever met and understands belts. It's a very special skill that you oh have. She understands belts. I do like a good belt. She has like a whole collection of belts. I have a bin of belts. It's very impressive. Yeah. You know what though? You both have waists. It's mm -hmm. easy to wear a belt when you have a waist. I, I would argue that a belt is for anybody. Yeah. <laughs> Hype to belts. Hype <laughs> to belts. Hype to belts. Um, do we want to check in uh, online? Yeah, let's happening? check in online. Check you in know online. what? I say we just go into our like social, social, yeah. social okay. side of things. So um, we we asked people, we told people that you were going to be on the show, and we got a couple of great things. Yeah. So first of all, uh, Mark Mark M. Andrada uh, said, huge fan, and then gave an emoji with hearts in Heart his ice. eyes. Mark Andrada has, is, like, one of the most delightful humans I've ever met in my life. And, like... Yeah. I like him so much. Yeah. He's really great. And another thing that's fantastic about Mark is that, like, if you don't know Mark Andrada, go and see his work. Because yes. he, he he can, like... he You get drawn in with the smallest amount. Oh, man. He can do so little and oh, draw yeah. you in with yeah. Oh, my God, yeah. It's his true. clown... His silent clown is one of the most amazing things you'll yes. ever see. Disturbing yeah. and fantastic. Disturbing and great. Um, Megan Dunlop says hello from New York. And Megan Dunlop. you well. Hi. Yeah, all the way oh, from Megan. NYC. I know Megan since I was a child. I love her. She's great. Hi, Megan. Um, here's something from Christina Winter. Weird fact, Nicole was in Midsummer Night's Dream at Hyde Park when I was a co-op student managing the front gate of Skipton Pay where you can do the donations. Ah, hi. Nice. So that's such that. a blast from the past. That's so weird too because I've known Christina since I was a child. We danced together. She's my childhood best friend and I had no idea that oh my gosh. that's a weird connection. Yeah. yeah. That was a fun summer. We played, we, I learned how to play poker that summer. The whole cast was like, a lot of people in the cast were the same age. Some people were big poker fans and we just sat backstage and played poker like every night. And we'd order pizza, 
and the backstage of the Druid High Park stage is like a forest, basically. Yes, yeah. yes, and yes. And we'd order pizza, and then raccoons would come out of the forest, like seven raccoons at a time would come to try to get the pizza crusts. And so one day I was like, oh, I have an idea. Like, I'm, like we couldn't get rid of them. We'd yell at them and, like, chase them, and they would just, like, back up two steps and then keep coming. It was yeah. a bit, it was a bit, like... Walking Dead ish a little bit, like uh-huh. we just kept coming. <laughs> yeah. And I got this. I went to the dollar store and I bought like a psh, psh, like a little spray bottle. Yeah. And I was like, oh, this works like on a cat. cats. Yeah. So this raccoon is like ah, coming for the <laughs> for the crust, and I was like, stand back. And the raccoon was just like, nice. Didn't even. <laughs> it was like a nice breezy, like it's like, like one of those Evian bottles yeah. for the raccoon. They're like, like oh, it's hydrated. Hydrated. It's been it's August. Breezy. Yeah, you need some yeah. moisture. Yeah. Oh, raccoon so, is yeah. terrifying. That was the summer. Um, so, uh, Kate Bangay on, on a a page called Super Ladies, uh, said, please celebrate Nicole's unending wisdom and says, seriously, the five levels of compatibility thing blew my mind. Now, Nicole does an amazing thing where Nicole will create a system for anything. So like, if you're like, oh, I can't understand why this person's acting like this in my life. She'll be like, well, here's why. Here's one of five reasons why. There's like the system that is the Lord of the Rings system. And then there's the system that is the Harry Potter system. And then there's the system that is like the binary like society is like two different ways. Like you have so many amazing scientific theoretical ways to explain <laughs> why humans behave the way they do. And five types of compatibility is one of yeah. them, right? Five yeah. levels of compatibility. Yeah. Can you summarize Oh for us, like you don't have to. Uh, well, okay, so people can be compatible in different ways, and they are your hearts can be compatible, which means that you love the other person and you feel their love, like they love you and you can feel it. Okay. So, mm-hmm. if you've dated somebody that like you can't feel that they love you, yes. you're always like insecure that they love you, mm-hmm. yes, even if they maybe do, it just doesn't quite feed you. So, that's heart incompatibility, okay. Then there's intellectual. So if you feel intellectually compatible with somebody, you like talking to them, you're interested in their ideas. When something happens, you want their feedback about it. Mm-hmm. Um, and then there's uh, lifestyle compatibility. So if you both like love to get up at four in the morning and run a marathon, or if you both, yeah, exactly. Or if you're both like an <laughs> afternoon nap and bath kind of person, you want to live in the same city, yeah. you keep sort of similar hours. Because if you want to live in totally different countries, like it's you're not going to yeah. be that compatible, just right. like logistically. So logistics matter. Um, and then there's... I can't remember them, that's why I'm asking. Oh my gosh. Um, there's one more that I can't think of right now. And then the last one that I think is really important is, I call it shine. So your shine is what makes you you, what makes you the kind of person that you want to be, and what makes you kind of in touch, like aligned with your own personal mm-hmm, integrity. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And if a person is compatible mm-hmm. with your shine, then when you're around them and when they're, in their, when they're in your life, you become the kind of person you want to be. You make decisions that are aligned with your values, you behave in a way that you're proud of, yeah. um, you feel stronger and more confident, and it, it spills over into you doing better at work, or you doing better at school, or your career going better. Um, it just like builds your confidence right, in general, yeah. and it builds your own sense of like personal value aligned with your behavior and lifestyle. So if you find a person, um, I think a lot of people feel like, oh, I'm compatible with this person because we're physical, oh, physical, obviously. That's what I was gonna say, is the other one. So physical is like touch, sex, cuddling, whatever it is, like whatever pulls you together physically. Mm -hmm. So a lot of times, when you first meet a person, you're talking with them a lot, so you discover if you're intellectually compatible, or you're physical with them, so you discover if you're sexually, physically compatible. Right. Um, and maybe your lifestyles match where you like like to both go dancing, or you both want to go on a hike in the morning, or whatever. So mm-hmm. your dates kind of um, show if you have lifestyle compatibility. Right. And you can find those three things and think like, oh, I found my soulmate because we both like the shins or whatever. Um, <laughs> that is my of, marker. Like the number one. Watched a lot of like red really. The shins. Yeah. Yes. Um, but I think that um, those three kinds of compatibility, well, especially like talking and um, lifestyle, you can get from your friends. Absolutely. You don't necessarily. It's the need... other things that really, yeah. Yeah. So yeah. if your partner is bad for your shine, which means, or bad for your heart, which means you don't feel loved, you feel insecure. That's mm. like you can't feel their love. So you always feel like, oh, oh I need more. I need more. Mm-hmm. You're always hungry. Mm-hmm. And if they're bad for your shine. And you wind up doing things that don't align with your values. Like you end up like making decisions that are like not good for you, or like right. finding yourself like whatever it is, compromising your own values to try mm-hmm. to please somebody else. Um, but those two aspects come later in a relationship because you don't fall in love with somebody right away, so you don't know if you can feel their love until you're kind of already invested in them. Right. And right. you don't know how they affect your shine until you've kind of like the the you know the early days have kind of passed and you sort of feel like okay this is what it's like every day when we're together right so if somebody like comes home every day and they like fill your ear with poison they're probably bad for your shine 
right? Or if they, yeah, like, if probably. you are like, oh, I need to do this thing, I, I want to tell this person this thing that's important to me, and they're like, no, don't do that, or they give you advice that, like, pushes you in a bad direction, they can be bad for your shine, and that's bad for your entire, like, your entire self in the world. Yeah. So the most important parts of compatibility to me are your heart and your shine, because if you feel loved, you are a more secure person, and mm -hmm. you don't have to worry and feel stressed out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And if you, if the person's good for your shine, then you're behaving in a way that's aligned with your, like, values. But I think it's easy to get into a relationship, and then I think physical stuff matters, too, if you're going to be monogamous, because you have to get that from your romantic partner. Yeah. But I think it's easy totally. to get into a relationship and think, like, this person's my soulmate because we can talk all night, or this person's my soulmate because we like this, we have the same hobbies. I mean, and I don't think that's real compatibility. This feels like a book. Right? I Doesn't kind of it feel like a book? You should write a book. You should write a book about all your like, theories. Because they're, they're very, all amazing. This is very, I don't know, I feel like people would be like, yeah, and then and then once you realize, and then each chapter could, you know, go into your different things. Right. And then I feel like you'd be like, oh, just when I feel like I started understanding, like, physical attraction... Here comes shine. <laughs> I gotta get on the shine. It's kind of also like a Disney movie. It's like Inside Out, but like yeah, right. compatibility. Yeah. Right, yeah. Write a yeah. book. You don't have write any books book. on here. Come I have on. Never not here. That's Step one up. of the areas we don't have anything oh, for. So you Step should, up and yeah. write a book. Step up and write a book, Nicole's dance. Yeah, are you talking to my parents? Like, oh my, like, my parents say to me all the time. Book. Write a book. Also, um, I feel like you should also maybe just even start out with like, like a maybe it's in the book or maybe it's a blog or maybe it's a vlog I don't know but you also like your your Lord of the Rings thing oh like she has so many Can I, you went from book to vlog really fast and I'm uncomfortable <laughs> it's like put a book or a vlog it's like you can write a book just... or write a tweet not it's not based on you it's because I want the people to get the information faster I, this no, is no I want you to build a house it. or like you could like I don't know walk past the hotel no I feel <laughs> like. I was like, maybe you write your book about this theory, but I feel like your other theories, your other theories need a platform. I'm trying to Thank thinking you. of you no, and it. like giving no, you I'm more sorry, platform. I'm thinking of you. Really I'm thinking of you monetizing. Um, Make a you. book. Sell your book. Sell a book. Sell your book. Yeah, this will, I agree with the book thing. The I just want to be clear that I agree with the book thing. I was not trying to diminish the book <laughs> thing. I feel like I've been misunderstood. What's <laughs> <here>. <laughs> I'm like 63 proof. Yeah. Um, 63 proof. Yeah, no, I'm going to write a book or like a tweet or something. <laughs> You tweet. You, okay. No big deal. I've been really misunderstood here, and I, I a tweet. I, you I, have I to be like very succinct really in a tweet. tweet. You have to be succinct in a tweet. Yeah. Yeah. It's hard. That's, that's not my it's, skill. It's hard. Succinct to be, is hard. Yeah. 140 characters is not a lot of characters. Yes. All right. Let me uh, finish. Let, yeah, let me see what I can be able to say. Uh, Marco Tapano. Nicole is crazy strong. Did you know that? Uh, I've witnessed her get dragged across the forest and do yes. some army work oh and climb a tree. I climbed a tree. I did. Yeah. What's all that dodge project? You did for tactical girls. Yeah. She did a lot of cool tactical things for that project the tree I did some push-ups uh, and then the getting dragged I was awesome it was for this this film that Melissa's uh, partner Matt Campanion who's right over there hi Matt uh, wrote and directed this film where I play a journalist and then I get eaten by a werewolf spoiler alert but because I'm a journalist every time anything happens like creepy I pull out an iPhone and like I start recording it like really seriously to like get content for, for my vlog <laughs> <laughs> See, tweets. it's not completely. It's not a terrible idea. <laughs> and then, <laughs> and then the werewolf gets me, but I'm filming. So the last shot that I take before I get eaten by a werewolf, do they eat me? Is that what happens? Yeah, they mangle. They, 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 they mangle. They mangle. They like I am a werewolf. We established. Yeah. yeah. So what, what, are you what do you do, do there? So mostly I just maul. Okay. So maul people. That's the word. So yeah. the I like to crush them a bit. <laughs> The last Stand on them. I take before being mauled by Dale the werewolf is my own hand grabbing at the dirt as I scream and get get pulled into a forest for the yeah. mauling. I want to say that Nicole's work with that with that cell phone camera was ex like incredible because Nicole. And Nicole's directed a few things I've done, like a few little videos where I've been like, "Oh, well, can you come and help me with this video?" And I was I was like, "Can you just like you know press play on the camera and like." You know, and involved. she's like, okay, we need to, I think there needs to be things behind you. Uh, let's shoot it here because the light will be better here. There's this hair that's doing this thing on your head that I think you should, like, the, your attention to detail, your your ability to frame a shot. Like, if you see the cinematography from her cell phone camera in that movie, Hunter's Moon, it's incredible. There's one shot I got of Melissa wearing this, like, vavoom red dress. I do wear a pretty, She yeah. really know how to wear a dress. And, uh, right, case in point. And, like, so I'm holding the phone, and Melissa's, like, beside me, and I just, out of out of the shot, I just grabbed you and pushed you, and you ran through the shot, and the action was to, like, try to get me to stop filming. So she's, like, looking into the iPhone and, like, yelling at me and trying to take it away from me. And you look like a, like an Italian, 
like a romantic comedy from Italy in the 1950s. Oh my god, that's the best compliment I've ever received. You, know, you look like that kind of all the time, time, but in that moment in particular, fantastic. It's Thank just you. like thanks. You know what I mean? Like there were songs that's written nice. about you, and people people still sing them in the karaoke. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. yeah. Thanks, Nicole. Yeah, but that's I'll nice. sing your songs karaoke. Will mm-hmm. you? Yeah. Have thanks, you done with her? No. It's, it's amazing. I love karaoke. Do you? Karaoke. I, I yeah. I don't. I don't do it very often. Because they really very very rare. But you can totally sing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, well. but very rare. Last time I went to karaoke, I said I would like to do "Cry Me a River" by Julie London. I got up there, and the woman was like, "I got you. I found "Cry Me a River," but not by Julie London." <laughs> Justin Timberlake. By Justin Timberlake. And then I said to her, "You're lucky I know the song." Cry me. <laughs> and I just like sang it. Dun, 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 dun. I was like, "These are drastically different songs." Yeah. They're entirely you. different. You're yeah. a very good singer, though. You can, you can play I, I, I'm all right. You can Timberlake. Yeah. You can Timberlake. Timberlake. I did Timberlake, and then I was like, <laughs> you but now also I'm here Timberland. to play choice. Did you also do the like? Timbaland. Oh, what? <laughs> ah. Listen. <laughs> Did it both the parts. The damage is done, so I guess I believe it. Ha, ha, ha. So Boyer's going to be at a karaoke there night you near you soon. Mm-hmm. Check mm-hmm. her out. Mm-hmm. Pick a song. I just, I just you do okay. such Justin Timberlake songs. Nicole does that karaoke. Nicole always does uh, the Burn Naked Ladies, uh, Chicken to China, the Chinese Chicken. She always does that rap, and it's really impressive. I won a case of wine once doing that, and I feel like it imprinted on me like a duckling. Like, I'm like, oh, that that's my that's my karaoke mother now. I, I do, do that, that I get I hit the pellet skipper. Yeah, I'm going on to this this I got rewarded once for this. Let me do it again. Keep doing it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Um, well, listen, I feel like we're kind of coming up to the end of our thing. We are. We sadly. usually finish up with, uh, what's your new favorite thing? New favorite thing. A new favorite thing. Anything new and favorite in your life right now? Uh, can you go first? Yeah. Probably think. Mm-hmm. Uh, my new favorite thing is uh, I'm performing at the Harbor Kids Circus Festival, and mm. so um, I wanted to, like, I wanted my character to sing something, and so my friend Adam Lazarus let me his ukulele and I'm teaching myself how to play it and I'm having the best time ever like I just sit with it and I play songs about Hawaii and ah. like just like I'm really loving oh that's this great ukulele I just always want to play the ukulele I would love to see that's you play the ukulele well, that's awesome yeah that's cool. pretty great that's my favorite thing that's great yeah yeah, yeah. Adam's ukulele nice <laughs> hype to Adam hype to Adam hype to Adam, Adam Lazarus I did a show with Adam Boom. he's amazing he's, he's who introduced us that's right yeah yeah, yeah. 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 Last. There you go. Last. New favorite thing for me mm-hmm. is um, it turns out I st- I still have a piercing up here in my ear. Oh, uh, and I haven't cool. put anything in it in like three years. But it's still open. Yeah. And the other day I was like, I wonder if and it's still open. And now I think my new favorite thing is going to be putting in putting earrings back up in here. Nice. And like wearing all my earrings up high. That's great. Cause it's ninety three. Uh, no, do I it. I want to wear my nineteen ninety three uh, cartilage piercing again. Yeah. Yeah. I think you should. I don't have it on today. I guess I could put this one over here. Well, maybe next type night you can... I need a ring, but that's my thing. That's a great thing. <laughs> nice. nice, guys. That's yeah. amazing. Nice. Uh, my new... I don't have a great answer for this. My new favorite yeah. thing is I just... I bought a new laptop. Mm-hmm. Oh. I'm really excited about it. I haven't yeah, opened it yet. Laptop. I just got it. And uh, I, I came up with an idea that I think might have been genius, but maybe it was stupid and I don't know yet. So you can buy the newest Mac. Mm-hmm. And they're like, this is the best Mac. And mm. you look at any Mac, and I'm like, what about this one? They're like, no, no, you want this one. You want this, the right. new one. Yeah. And I'm like, but like 11 months ago, you would have been selling me this one and telling me it was the best Mac ever. Yeah. And they're like, yeah, but now this new one has an updated graphics card. And I'm like, I feel a bit like and the swindled. Touch, and the touch top. We see what you're yeah. doing, Apple. Did you get we the touch top? I don't even know. I don't think so. So what I decided to do, no, mine doesn't have touch up, because what I decided it's to do. this. You touch this, and emojis happen. Yeah, that something. is pretty cool. Yeah. So there's something. Yeah, there's like a touchpad at the top. I didn't get the emoji The one. keyboard is, the new keyboards are nice. Oh, I don't use that many emojis. I, that's a lie. I use a lot of emojis. You use a lot of emojis. I do. <laughs> I used to not use many emojis and I started. But my, my new thing was like, okay, I'm going to buy the, the laptop that's from like a year ago mm-hmm. and then I'm going to upgrade all the stuff in it. So I upgraded the RAM and I upgraded the processor and I, I don't even know what I'm saying. I it's a very Mac and handy yeah. thing to do. Uh, well, I feel like doing it saved me like 500 bucks. So yeah. 500 bucks is a pretty. Right on. Yeah. Nice. That's a great new favorite thing. So I, I haven't like opened it yet, so maybe it'll be terrible, and all the stuff will just be like stuck on the scotch tape. I don't know what it looks like know, when they upgrade yeah, that that's stuff. That's how Apple does the five things with upgrades. It's tape. like there's an iPod Nano like scotch tape to my. It laptop, used to come so slick. <laughs> yeah, and now they're just like they're just deconstructing it. Yeah, it's just like all thrown in a box. Crazy. Yeah, but that's what I'm. That's what I'm excited about. Okay. I think tonight I might unbox it actually. So. Oh, that's very exciting. I'll let you know how it goes. Yeah. Nice. Well, oh my gosh. Nicole Stamp, it's been the best having you on. You two are such a pleasure. Thank you so much for having oh me. And thank you for Yay. doing this. It's so nice to see 
people supporting other people's work and making space for them to, to be forced to accept compliments. Um, do like yeah, but it's actually really nice like because you're sort of socialized to be like, no, no, leave me alone. But it's actually like probably good to be like, no, but I did that thing and it was cool. And yeah, I, yeah. I, I actually like t don't find that easy to do. And so being forced to do it was actually nice. And so thank you for good. thinking about that Great. psychology and making space for people to, you know, to be celebrated. And thank you for wanting to do that. That's a, that says something about both of you as individuals. That this this was your creative yeah. impulse. With, and today, when we like, were away for three weeks, we really missed it. We missed it. We so, missed it a lot. Yeah. It's kind of great. We love the show. We love the show. Yeah. And thank love you. Love you. Buddy. Thank, thank you. you guys. Thank you so much. We are going to be back next week. Yes. Thank you all for joining us. We will be back. We will unveil our guest uh, in a, a day or so. So like, stay tuned mm -hmm. to our page and tell people to join us because we'd love to have more of you involved in the conversation. In Absolutely. The if you yeah. have any ideas for guests or anything you'd like to see us do on the show, by all means, drop, drop us a message at the top of the Facebook page here. It probably says, like, message or something. Yeah. Do that, and because um, we like to talk to people. We do. <laughs> and yeah. we will see you next week. Okay. It's been so long since we've heard it. I know. I'm so happy. Bum 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 b